Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a website responsive. So you see, if I take a look at this web page, you will notice that it looks nice on my computer screen. But if I view it on a smaller screen, such as an iPhone or an iPad, it might look a little bit different. So you see, if I right click here, and if I go to inspect, it's different now. So you see, the more I shrink it, the more you see this, these buttons, for example, there is something going on there. So you see, as I shrink the web page, you see this one goes behind this div. So this is not what I want. I want to make it uh, responsive. Perhaps I want this section to go below this one. And uh, I'm going to do that in a second. So if you use Google Chrome, you can right click here and go to inspect and from here you can click on this small computer screen it will toggle the the device so it says toggle device toolbar so if you want to click on it it will show you it will make it smaller so you see if you click on this drop down uh, menu you'll see that these are all of the devices that you have so i'm going to change it to uh, iphone 12 pro so you see on iphone 12 pro it looks like this it's still small and this one this button goes behind that div so this is not what I want I want to fix this um, and I'm gonna click on it again and let's let's go with iPad Air so this is on iPad Air this is what it looks like so uh, what I'm gonna do now actually I'm gonna go back to iPhone 12 and let's make it better on iPhone 12 so you see this is the dimension for iPhone 12 it's 390 pixels width. So to do that, we are going to our code, and this is my uh, style sheet. So this is all of my styling for that uh, web page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to the very end of it, and I'm going to add this keyword. So at media screen, and then you open to parentheses and you open to color braces. So far so good, all right? It's easy. So now between the parentheses, we can say max dash width colon, and we said that it's 390 pixels, right? 390 pixels. So 390 pixels. So whenever we view this uh, page on a device that is less than 390 pixels, we are going to apply the styling inside of our media and we are going to ignore the style above it. So we are going to ignore all of this and we are going to apply whatever is inside of our media query. So now let's take a look at uh, the width again, 390 just to make sure. So it's 390 pixels and I have that typed in. So now let's see what we can do about it. So I want this div to stay here and I want this div to go below it. So now you see the width of these is 50 by 50. So 50% by 50%. So instead of doing that, I can change this one to 100% by 100%. So let's do that. I'm going to go bring that, uh, bring those selectors. So you see it says dot left section and dot right section. So I'm going to copy that whole thing. I'm going to copy both of them at once. And I'm going to move them inside of my media query. And I'm going to paste it here. So I have it here. Everything is the same. Except I'm going to change the width to 100% by 100%. So now if I go to File, Save. And if I refresh the page, you will notice that it will become 100%. And it will send the other one, the other div. Below it. So it looks much better. At least they don't uh, overlap. Um, now I can, uh, let's see, I can increase the font size here. So I can say, for example, body to select everything inside of body. I'm going to say font dash size 23 pixels. I can save it and refresh it. You'll notice that I have that there. Let me uh, resize the images. So to reset the images, I'll have to select, bring that selector down. I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to uh, place it on line 148 or 49, doesn't matter. 
So as long as you are inside of your media query, it should work. So now I'm going to, for example, uh, change the width to 200 pixels and the height by 200 pixels. So I'm going to file, save, and uh, I'm going to refresh it. You'll notice my images are bigger now and I can see it now. Um, so this is how basically um, you make it responsive. So now if I view it on a, on an iPad Air, so I can click on this drop down and go to iPad Air, you'll notice that it's kind of small on iPad Air. So because iPad Air has 820 pixels, so you see it says 820 up here. So because it has 820 pixels, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing basically. All right, so you see this was for iPhone. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. So right to click copy. And I'm going to place this one before because you see uh, iPad Air is 820. So I'm going to place that one, uh, that one before this one. So you see this one is 390 for iPhone. So I'm going to paste it here. So I have the same media query up here. So what happened to it? So you see 390. So this is the one that I just paste, uh, pasted. And this is the one that we just made, the 390. So I'm going to change this one to 820 pixels. All right. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to change the max width. So I'm going to go to File, Save. And now if I refresh it, so this is iPad Air, the 820 pixels. Refresh it. You'll notice that looks nicer. And uh, I like it, everyone. Uh, do you guys like it? I'm not sure if you guys like it. But this is how you basically um, make a website responsive. And uh, I hope this video has given you a basic idea about how to, uh, you know, make a web page responsive. Also, I want to mention something before I go. Uh, let's see. So if I view it on a computer screen, this is how it was look. Uh, you know, it was uh, looking like. But now, if I shrink it, you see that now when I shrink it, when I shrink it. This div becomes full width, and this one also. So you see, it's much nicer. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have any? So your goal. So your goal is to um, remove or get rid of the horizontal scrolling. So for example, um, you see, as long as you see the horizontal scrolling at the bottom of your browser, it means your web page is not responsive. So now you see there is no horizontal uh, bar so I am not able to move it horizontally so it means that my web page is responsive and I'm gonna shrink it more and more so you see it's I still don't see that so it's fully responsive now so it's fully responsive now so I hope you like the video everyone and this is basically how we did it uh, first we added at media screen and then typed and and then we have used uh, something called max dash width 820 so you see because this one is a bigger device i have placed it uh, before the media query for the max width so this one is for iphone max iphone 12 max so that's why it's uh 390 so i have you place the smaller one so you go from the biggest device, all right? So you go from the biggest device to the smallest one. So you see this one is the second one for this device. And probably you will add one for a different device. So where is my Chrome? So let me go to any spec. So you see, if you were to, for example, uh, design it for Galaxy Fold, so this is how it would look like on Galaxy Fold. It looks nice, still looks nice. Um, we could have, you know, you just look at the 280, for example, and you place it here. So you just copy this whole thing and you 
change the max width to that specific device width. And you basically add selectors to override what you have here. All right. So this is how you do it, everyone. This is how you, um, you know, make your website responsive. I hope you like it. I hope this video was not too long for you all. Also, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to break this one. So you see now we have all of our CSS styling in one document, but I'm going to show you how to separate it. So in the next video, I'll show you how to separate, uh, how to separate, uh, for example, that media query for iPhone and how to place it in its own file. So we are, going, we are going to make a new style sheet and we are going to attach it here. So I hope you like everyone and I'll see you all later.